How's it hanging, ladies and gents? Today, I just want to get on here, take some time to talk about a franchise that I really enjoy, and more specifically, a new movie from that franchise that I really enjoy. Uh, that franchise being The Planet of the Apes, and that movie being the new Planet of the Apes movie, uh, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I can't claim to be an expert on the Planet of the Apes franchise, but I really love the modern trilogy with Andy Serkis. Uh, you have Rise of the Planet of the Apes with young James Franco and silly American-accented Tom Felton. That's good stuff, great movie. But then where the modern Planet of the Apes trilogy really starts shining through is, I think, with uh, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Everyone agrees that's the best movie in the franchise, and that's where Matt Reeves took over the trilogy. So Matt Reeves of the Batman fame director directed Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and War of the Planet of the Apes, and all three of those movies are great. The modern Planet of the Apes movies meant a lot to me growing up when they were coming out. I remember I had my phone background as a little window that Caesar looks at that becomes the symbol for Caesar's whole monkey movement, and uh, those movies, I just really enjoyed them growing up, and so I was excited and a little bit hesitant when I saw the trailer for the new Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes movie. I figured Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes was gonna cover maybe Caesar's son and just kind of continue that story, but they wicked didn't do that. They instead opted to do a 300 year time jump in Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes and it's pretty wild. It deals with kind of the fallout of Caesar's power and there's evil monkeys using Caesar's name for bad and in Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, the story that happens in the modern trilogy kind of becomes like it's history, it's, it's a myth. It's cool to see the events that happen in that Andy Serkis trilogy be mythologized is that a word mythologized yeah mythologized is a word confirmed so yeah it's cool to see the events of those movies mythologized and uh king of the planet of the apes does that very well fun evolution of the story and i'm gonna be honest king of the planet of the apes it's not as character focused as the andy circus trilogy it's not as in depth it has less to say and because of that, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes is a weaker film, but it also just kind of rips, dude. The action sequences are great, the characters are great, the score is great. While I was watching it, I was like, you know what? This gives me strong Avatar The Way of Water vibes, as well as strong Maze Runner vibes. I'm a huge fan of the Avatar series. I'm a huge fan of the Maze Runner series, and so just kind of the two energies of that series I found were combining. I'm like, this is Avatar meets the Maze Runner with monkeys and it rips. I really enjoy Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. So after I was done watching it, I'm like, that was cool, that was sweet. I go to my friend Aiden, I'm like, bro, that gave me Avatar vibes as well as Maze Runner vibes. And he was like, well, guess who wrote it? Josh Friedman. <laughs> Josh Friedman wrote Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. And you know what else he wrote? Avatar the Way of Water. Now be honest, does that man look fried to you? But yeah, so Josh Friedman wrote Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, he also wrote Avatar The Way of Water, and guess who directed Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes? A certain Wes Ball, who directed uh, the Maze Runner trilogy. So I thought that was kind of cool. More like Wes Bala, cause he's super good at basketball. He's also directing the live action Zelda movie? So we'll see how that turns out. What did you think about the movie? Let me know in the comments below, and uh, let me know if you dig this kind of just sitting in front of a mic rambling about things uh, in front of a computer screen type content because I think I'm going to do more. It makes me uncomfortable. Thank you so much for watching. Go watch the Planet of the Apes movies, at least the ones with Andy Serkis. They're great and uh, have a great day.